Okay, so we're going to do 1.3, 1.4. So what we'll do is we'll break this into two videos. 1.3 will be the first three pages, and then 1.4 will be the last page. So what we're doing is we're talking about what graphs of polynomials look like. And we know polynomials with an odd degree, right? And with a positive leading coefficient always look like this. They come from the bottom and then they go up to the right. So they look like this one here. So like an X cubed. So an X5 would also look the same thing. If it's negative, then what we flip everything around, right? So if the leading coefficient is negative, the opposite will happen. So this is if there's a negative in front of it. So that's with odd degree. Now, even degrees, tails either both go up if it's positive or the tails go down if the leading coefficient is negative. And think of X squared, right? So we know that Y equals X squared looks like that. And if it's negative, it flips around and looks like that. And that applies to X to the four or X to the six. So what we can talk about is when you talk about multiplicity, a multiplicity is basically has to do with the zeros. So if we look at this graph, you can see it crosses the X axis, right? Three times there, because it's like an X cubed, right? So in this case, because there's nothing, there's no bounce is what we call it. And you'll see that, we'll see that in a sec. It has a multiplicity of one. Now, if you look at the same one, but you see right at this side here, it bounces. It actually touches the X axis and then goes back up. This has a multiplicity of two, because that's the bounce. Um, just a plain cubic, you can see how it flattens out, comes to the uh, origin, and then goes back up again. Multiplicity of three. Now, that may may not may may not make a lot of sense, but if you look at the picture here, you, you can it makes way more sense. So what we have is we have a cubic here, and we can do some things here. So for instance, this is it crosses at one, so our binomial is x plus one. This one crosses at negative two, so our binomial is x plus sorry, this crosses at negative a half, so our binomial is x plus a half. So, but you can see it bounces here. So what happens is, well, we can first off convert x plus a half back to way what it looks like, which is 2x plus 1. Just move everything around. So, so what we have is we wanted to create an equation. It goes through at x minus 1 right there, but it bounces there, so it has a multiplicity of 2. So if you look at this, there's a 1 above here. There's a 1 up there. We don't write it in. There's the 2, so then this has a degree of 3. So this is a cubic, right? This is an odd degree polynomial. All right, go to the next page. We'll talk about that. So example 1 here. So what we have is this is just a graph. And what we want to do is we want to learn all the different things about this graph. So you can see both of them face the same direction. So first off, we know that this function is even since the tails are in the same direction. If it was odd, they'd be different directions. Okay? We can see that the x-intercepts are negative 5, negative 2, and 4. Okay? Oh, but that's only three x-intercepts. Oh, but there's a bounce in here. Okay, okay. So this is a one, this is a one, but this bounce at four comma zero, it's going to be a multiplicity of two because it bounces there. So the lowest possible degree for this whole thing is four, right? It's an even one. Now, we also know that since the, both the tails open downward, the leading coefficient is negative. So the x-intercepts are negative two, negative five, and four. So here's the factors, right? Remember, if it's an x... Um, e equals negative 2, it's going to be an x plus 2. If it's an x equals negative 5, it's going to be x plus 5. And the 4 is going to be x minus 4. But at 4, we have a multiplicity of 2, so we put a, a 2 above there. So if you look, there's a 1, 1, and a 2. Yeah, that adds up, gives us our degree of 4, right? Then it also asks, hey, where is the function positive and negative? So all I'm talking about here is where in the y values is everything positive and negative? Well, let's look at the y value first. So positive is anywhere between 5 and negative 2. So positive is between negative 5 and negative 2. We put round, uh, round brackets around it because it, it, it starts at that point but doesn't touch that point because technically negative 5 is where it crosses the x-axis, and that's not either positive or negative because it's a 0, right? Uh, where is it negative? Well, it's negative anywhere from negative infinity to negative 5. So we're talking about this part right here, right? Negative infinity to negative 5. It's also negative from negative 2 all the way up to positive 4. Yeah, that's the negative, negative 2 to positive 4, not including those points. And then anything greater than 4 over there. So those are all just negative values. Okay, uh, flip to the third page. And again, hopefully this is making more sense as you go along. The multiplicity is a little tricky. The best way is just to go through and graph it. Okay, so what we have here is we have two graphs. Sketch the graphs of the polynomial functions. So look a little, we'll do the first one here, A. So we have an x minus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. You can see right away this is going to be an odd degree because there's three of these, right? There's no multiplicities of anything other than one. So we put our points on there, right? So negative three, right? Oh, my graph shifted over a bit, sorry. Yeah, it shifted over big time here. Yeah, negative three, negative two, positive one. Sorry about that on the graph there. Negative, standard one, so it goes down to the left, up to the right. Now, we also got to find the y-intercept. 
Well, that's easy to do because if you remember the x value to find the y-intercept, we just make x equal to zero. So just plug x in zero, which is there. We find out the y-intercept is zero comma negative six. And don't make the mistake. A lot of kids always look at this and they go, oh, okay, it should go, go through that point and go straight back up again. No. If you remember things about uh, vertex, it's if we have a positive one and a negative two, it has to be halfway in between that. So that would be yeah, right in there at the negative a half. And you can check values if you're unsure about this. So we can check the value at negative 2.5 and we can plug it all in and get a value there. And that's a little bit harder to graph because it's a decimal. Now, what about if you get an equation like this where it's negative two X cubed plus six X minus four? Well, we know a couple of things. That negative four right away is the Y intercept, right? You can see negative four is our y-intercept there. We know that it's a, uh, oh, here, let's wrote it down here. Uh, it's cubic, right? So it's going to be, right, one up, one down. It's negative. So then it reverses the direction, right? It goes up and to the left and down and to the right. Okay, now how do we find the x-intercepts? Well, we need to factor this. So we can do a number of things. We can do binomial remainder theorem, which is what I did here. Try positive one. So you plug in positive one and you find, oh, yeah, yeah. Does it equal zero? Yeah. So then we know x minus one is a factor. Well, since we do binomial remainder theorem, well, how do we get to the next polynomial? You do synthetic division. So we plug in all the coefficients. Now, don't forget, this is x cubed and then an x. We're missing the x squared. So when we do synthetic division, we have to put a zero in there. We, have, we need that placeholder. So we do all the work. And you know you did it right because you end up with a zero, which we found in remainder theorem. So we end up with negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 4. So then what we can do is we can factor this trinomial, right? This is from grade 11. So we pull out a negative 2. And then we factor it. We end up with x squared plus x minus 2. And then this thing factors into two binomials. So x plus 2x minus 1. Now, don't forget, we already got an x minus 1 up here. And down here, oh, okay, they're the same. So it has a multiplicity of two because they're exactly the same. So our x-intercepts are right here, uh, sorry, positive one and negative two, but it bounces, bounces at positive one, right? Because we end up having two positive ones. And so that is the breakdown of 1.3. Uh, I'll do a little separate video after this of 1.4, and it's just one page, and it's just a few more little things about that. Okay.